Hi, what's going on, YouTube family? And all the fellow reefers out there. I'm gonna take a little look around the tank, man. And I picked up a couple of new, uh, couple of new frags. Picked this guy up right here. Doing great. That guy right there up top. I mean, everything is doing good. Oh, yeah, and I also had to add a new uh, clownfish. Since you know, my uh, maroon clown uh, it didn't work out too well when I was planning to happen. So I uh, added this guy here, and you see she's uh, she picks at it and makes sure she uh, keeps him in his place. It was pretty rough last night, but hey, he made it through the night, so he's not moving around. I guess, you know, he's probably still a little stressed out, so but for the most part, he's doing good. Everything in the tank's doing good. I'm using my uh, little uh, homemade uh, gel filter. Works pretty good. I guess I can take it off and show you what it looks like without it on there and that's without the gel filter on there so it definitely helps makes a big difference these A cans here were uh, been pretty pissed off here lately but they're coming back around these green guys they were you know both rags were really uh not happy for a while so yeah, he was growing out a lot and there's my other uh my little uh target mandarin i guess you that's that's the correct name for him a target mandarin or a spotted mandarin, whichever one you want to call it. But I like him, he's really cool. I added a lot of food in there for those guys yesterday. So they should be, you know, good for a while. Just a quick look around the tank. You know, a quick little update. Let's look on, look down here and see what's going on with the uh, refugium, you know. See how everything's going with the skimmer. Everything's going good up here. It's keeping everything really clean. All I have to do is clean the glass. That's all I do. Clean the glass and I do, you know, a 10-gallon water change every two weeks. And that's pretty much it, you know, since definitely since I started, uh, Started the two-part dose in the calcium and uh, alkalinity, so it's uh, working out really good. Let's look down here at the refugium. Ah, uh, see what's going on. Remove that gel filter. Should have uh, quite a bit of life moving around down here. They were everywhere last night, but there's so much uh, macroalgae in here that they can just kind of move around as they want. So. I still got to get this guy out. Been actually uh, hand feeding him. Skimmer still working like a champ, doing its thing. Just get that gel filter back up here. And You know, nothing special, man. I do all this with my phone. I just try to, you know, show the little stuff that I have going on. You know, it's nothing major. I enjoy the hobby and I, uh, I like it, so I try to share it. Guess we'll probably get a, we'll get another bird's nest too, and put up there next to this one.
Can't get it to focus too well. I guess that's what happens when you have a makeshift gel filter. And since I since the uh, golden nugget hadn't been, the torch has been doing great. Also with the elegance, great. No problems. Let's go and take a look at some of the other uh, stuff that I also picked up yesterday. All right, let's get the light on in here. A little dark. All right. So I went ahead and picked it up. Emmy Coral Food. You know, man, if you look at the ingredients on this stuff, Compared to the ingredients on the previous video that I did on that bad coral food uh, Dude, it's It's night and day, you know, it's just plain and simple And you can see it for yourself, man. It's, it's completely night and day Where I'm gonna be feeding my corals, you know actual stuff that's good for them instead of you know nine different fillers so this is this is great this this is great stuff so uh and i also used this uh glue last night that's how i got that guy stuck up there on that uh, overflow box man it was you know soaking wet and put a little glue on there and stuck it in there and held it there for a second that was it that was it works great great love it and you know the Vitacam, I'm gonna give this a shot. You know, start you know because I make my own food. So everything else, man, it's doing really good. I have to do a little uh, tour of my uh, couple of my local LFSs one of these days. But yeah, definitely, man, solid more. It's my dude. He uh, he definitely takes care of me, so can't do no complaining. But yeah, man. Definitely give this a shot. Emmy Coral Food. Like I say, man, it's all in the ingredients. If you look at it, it kind of lets you know what's really going on. What you're feeding your, you know, your beloved corals. <laughs> all right, guys. Just a quick little update for y'all to check out and see what I got going on. Like I say, you know. Try to keep you guys informed on what's going on and how everything's doing around the aquarium. Anything new that I pick up and, you know, how it's working and what I think about it. And we'll try to keep it rolling for you guys. Till next time, Freshman Reefer. We'll check you guys next time, man. Peace out.